Hello, Westbrook Church. I'm Mike Sullivan, one of the elders at Westbrook Church, and I want to welcome you to week two of our 40 days of prayer season. Last week, you saw a message by Pastor John about why we lament and why it's a good place to start with our time of prayer. And we're going to continue that theme uh, this week, and our statement of Lament is a prayer written in pain that leads to trust. And every time I think of a prayer written in pain that leads to trust, I always think of Hannah, Samuel's mother. In 1 Samuel chapter 2, we read the story of Hannah, who was barren, and she petitioned the Lord to give her a son. And in those days... A woman's worth was measured by her ability to bear children. So as you can imagine, her, her pain was probably very great. And she was shamed by other women in her life. And it vexed her. And she petitioned God. And God heard her prayers and blessed her with a son who became the greatest judge in the nation of Israel. And Hannah prayed a magnificent prayer to God that I just love and I want to share with you. Hannah's prayer says, My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth derides my enemies because I rejoice in your salvation. There is none holy like the Lord, for there is none besides you. There is no one like our God. Talk no more so very proudly. Let not arrogance come from your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty are broken, but the feeble bind on strength. Those who were full have hired themselves out for bread, but those who were hungry have ceased to hunger. The barren has borne seven, but she who has many children is forlorn. The Lord kills and brings to life. He brings down to Sheol and raises up. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low and he exalts. He raises up the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes and inherit a seat of honor. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and on them he has set the world. He will guard the feet of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall be cut off in darkness, for not by might shall a man prevail. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Against them he will thunder in heaven. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Horn here means power. Every time I read that prayer or think about it, I think, how did Hannah know that? How did she know that what she was writing and or saying in that prayer was true? I believe, I hope her husband helped her walk her with her through her pain and pointed her to God and the truths that she learned through that process. But I have a tendency to think the vast majority of her understanding of those things that she prayed came providentially and by divine revelation from God who taught her through her pain. And I wanna encourage you in your pain, whatever it is, and no matter who you are in life, no matter who you meet in life, remember that everyone you come in contact with is dealing with some kind of pain. And I believe that pain is intended to draw us into relationship with God because that produces the fruit that we saw in Hannah's prayer. It also produces lament that we become more and more aware of our own sin. 
But that lament is a good thing because it's not good for me to arrogantly think that I'm something that I'm not or that I have things in my life under control that I truly have no control over. It's a good thing and it draws us into relationship with Him. And so I pray that during this time, you will be drawn into a closer relationship with God through your lament of your sin, knowing that God has forgiven you through the finished work of Jesus Christ, and He desires to lift you up as Hannah prayed, he will guard the feet of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall be cut off in darkness. I pray that this week will be a blessing for you. God bless.